friends, I'm so glad to see you today. Um, we are we learned all about some Native American artifacts today, and right now we're going to make a picture of one of the artifacts we looked at, which was a teepee. So what you'll need today is you'll need the orange sheet of paper from your folder and a white sheet of paper. So one white, one orange, a pencil, scissors, glue stick crayon box. If you have an eraser, you may need that. And let's go ahead and get started. So first thing I want to do, I like to conserve paper and we're going to probably do a project here in a couple weeks where we need all of our papers. So we're going to only use half of this orange sheet of paper today. So go ahead and fold your orange sheet of paper in half and crease it. If you need a grown up to help you, you can ask your grown up to help you fold it in half. Okay, so we folded it and I've kind of pressed it down on the edge. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut that sheet of paper in half. And we're going to take this half of paper and we're going to put it back into our bag so that we have orange for our next project. So anytime we have scrap colored paper, let's keep it because we can use it later. All right, so we've got our orange paper, our white background. So let's do the background first. Yeah, I think we want to do that today. We're going to make a background for our teepee. Now, I thought it'd be fun to kind of play with some colors since we've talked a lot about colors and maybe do some blending and talk about what colors go where. So let's do the ground first. Take our pencil and just draw a line across the bottom. That's the ground where the teepee will sit. And you can color your ground brown or green or tan color or even gray. Just choose what color you want your ground to be. I think where the teepee is going to sit on mine, I'm going to make it brown because people are coming in and out of that teepee. So, Nothing's really alive around there. And then on the edges, you can see that I'm going a little fast with my crayon and I do that by taking it and coloring on the side of my crayon so that it's not like I'm just scribbling with the tip. And that may take some practice, but if you're wondering how I'm doing it, I'm just turning it on its side and going back and forth. Then I'm gonna take this light green like I said, I'm okay if you do it all brown or all green, but just underneath that line that we drew, we're gonna color it in. So you can see on the last one, I did the ground yellows and greens and that worked okay too. Okay, so with the sky, we can, I think I'm going to do it opposite of the other one. We're going to pretend it's sunset. So if it's sunset, at the very bottom, we're going to use yellow. So where the ground is, we're going to start with our yellow. We're going to do a stripe of yellow all the way across the page from one side all the way to the other. Okay, just put a nice stripe of yellow. Now the next color, and these colors go in order on the color wheel, would be orange. And I like using, you can use yellow, orange, or orange. I'm going to just use regular orange. And I'm going to do a stripe of yellow across because the sun is getting low. It's starting to go down behind the earth. Okay, so we've got, this one is a lot darker. I pressed really hard with my crayon. This one's a lot lighter. I'm doing it really quickly. Either way would work. You can go back and darken your colors if you like it darker. You can see I did it opposite. So blue, purple, red, 
orange, and yellow, right? Either way works. Now, once you've got your background in, let's go back to our orange paper and get our pencil out. Now, I'm gonna use the Sharpie because you won't see what I'm drawing on this orange paper. So, with your pencil, you're gonna draw a big triangle. I'm gonna put a dot up here in the middle between my two corners. So that's the middle right there. Now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna draw a line all the way down to my corner right here. And then I'm gonna take another, this dot, and I'm gonna draw it all the way down to this corner. Okay? Then we're gonna put some patterns and some designs on our, our TP. So before we do that, let's also draw a door. So we'll just draw another little triangle right in the front. Okay. All right, now get your crayons out. Choose any color you want, probably a darker color so it shows up. And we can think about those lines we've talked about. So maybe you want to do a zigzag line. And let's just put some designs on it. So maybe the people who live in this teepee have tried to decorate it and make it fancy. Okay, on the door flap, I think I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. We're gonna go ahead and cut out our big triangle teepee. So remember, we're just going up and down with our scissors. The only thing that's really moving is I'm pulling the paper towards me. The scissors aren't really moving. Okay, now this is kind of fun for the door. For the door, right in between the middle of your triangle, you can go like this and do a straight line up and then we can fold back the opening. Okay, now our teepee's ready to go onto our paper. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. Okay, now with our glue stick, we're gonna glue it into place and I'm gonna leave some room on the top to add the sticks at the top of the teepee. So let's go ahead and get our glue stick out, flip over our teepee, and don't put it on the background, just put it on your teepee. I'm gonna close the doors for a minute. You're gonna go all the way around the edge. Okay. That way we know it's gonna stay and maybe put a little dot in the middle, keep it down. Okay, now I'm gonna put my lid back on my glue so I don't forget to do that. I'm gonna flip my teepee over. I'm gonna put it right here, I'm gonna rub it down so it's nice and flat. Open up the doors if you wanted to draw somebody in there, that might be kind of fun. And then maybe take our brown crayon and since teepees that they're really made out of sticks. We can put some of those up out of the top. Okay. All right, friends, that's our, that's our assignment for today. Let me know when you're done. Show me your pictures. Can't wait to see them.